Meteorologist George Flickinger is off as well. We'll check the weather with Taft Price in just a moment. First, though, we want to start with our breaking news we've been on top of all morning. Police say they've cornered a murder suspect in a hotel along I-244 at Sheridan. They've been trying to get him out now for the last five hours. Two News reporter Patricia Santos is there live with an update. Patricia? Hey, Justin, we just heard a loud boom, and I'm going to have the photographer zoom into that smoke right now. There you see it. We heard a loud boom. We are just across the street from the Days Inn Hotel near I-244 and North Sheridan Road. Now, uh, we have been out here since about 1.30 this morning. We were the first on scene, and police are pretty sure that they have the right man inside. They are looking for El Oberio Carrillo, whom they believe is a suspect in a murder that happened overnight. We understand understand that uh, members with the special operations team have, were called out earlier today. We understand that uh, the, the, everybody in the hotel room was evacuated in the hotel. And, uh, you know, we have seen about 20 to 30 different vehicles uh, that have been parked out here with special operations team arriving. We know we, uh, we've seen a sniper officer also arriving here on scene. They are looking for the suspect that killed, uh, allegedly killed her, his ex-wife's boyfriend. The shooting happened while the two were looking for a hotel to rent near 38th and South Garnet around 6 yesterday afternoon. Police were led to this location after they believe they spotted the suspect's vehicle. Now, we will continue to follow this story, and we understand that there is a police officer that is going to come out here and give us the very latest. But again, we just heard a loud boom. What you would usually hear when, uh, when officers use uh, to get into the hotel room, and that is what we believe right now happened. Uh, we will continue to follow the story and bring you the very latest. Live in North Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News, worked for you. But uh, Patricia, still no clue as to what that boom uh, may have been or have police told it you happened. anything about how they plan on getting him out? We have not heard from officers yet, but we it happened literally just five seconds before uh, we went on the air. So we are going to go out right now and find out what happened. All right, we'll check back with you uh, in just a few moments. Thank you, Patricia. Right now, uh, we want to check in with Taft Price. Again, he's filling in for George, and uh, you have some wind still to talk about this morning, Taft. Yeah, that's right. A little bit breezy out there, Justin. We are seeing wind still at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, nothing like what we saw yesterday afternoon. And although it's going to be breezy again for today, not quite as strong as those winds that we saw on our Thursday afternoon. Right now, Viper 2 HD, pretty quiet in eastern Oklahoma. Off to the north and east, still tracking a few showers, moving through areas of eastern South Dakota, eastern Nebraska, and towards the Kansas City area. That's going to pivot down to the south and east through the rest of the day today. So if you have any travel plans up to Kansas City, maybe St. Louis, you're going to run into a few sprinkles or a few showers. Temperatures this morning running upper 40s and lower 50s out there. A nice cool start, but with that breeze, it's making it feel even cooler. So you're probably going to need a jacket for a brief period of time through the morning hours. May even want to keep it with you through the day today. Details and the rest of your forecast is coming up in just a couple minutes. Checking your traffic now at 6.32. We have a live look through our...